Okay, let's get started with our outreach services today. So if you will, if you could journey with me to the outreach services department through the website, and you could go ahead and get started. So when you log in, of course, you're going to have to create a login with Bitrix24, but when you get access, what you will see in our feed is all of the outreach services or like kind of like quick links for you to access should you need like any emergency assistance. Okay, so once we venture into, and I guess what I'll do is I'll wait if you have any questions for me, you're more than welcome to send those questions over to the communications area and then I will get back to you on that. All right. Okay, so if you would like to donate any items, yes, there is an area within the contact area that you can um, provide a description of the items that you would like to donate, and we could go from there. We also have provided information about where those items can be shipped and who they can be brought attention to. Um, I'd like to add on that as well. Um, if you if you are interested in donating items to our um, international um, part of the company, what I would recommend is that you send it in the form of a monetary donation, but electronically. So um, the reason why we ask that is because we could get the items that the people need much faster through um, our logistical strategy. Um, it, it would kind of add like a, a, a third wheel to it, so to speak, if you were to kind of, let's say, ship a pair of pants to our U.S. address, and then we had to ship that same pair of pants to Ethiopia. So let's say you're in Asia, you ship the pants to the U.S. and it takes about, I don't know, a month, right? Or a little less than a month. Then from here, when we ship it to Ethiopia logistically, it's going to take about a month or less than a month. And then remember that if, let's say someone's in like an indigenous village, it would add a little bit more time onto that as well. So the reason why we ask for um, the stipend or the... the donation to be monetary for our international sector is so that way they could money can transfer to them in literally seconds or you know two or three days you understand and then um they could purchase what they need and get it right at their fingertips a little bit faster than like a two-month shipment journey if you will so that that's all that's all I wanted to um, explain there. Like that. But that was a great question, so I just decided I'd answer that. Right all right. So Go grab my coffee. So I'll be right back. I'm almost done with these emails. And if there aren't any more questions or if anyone doesn't need assistance, then what I'll do is I'll give it just about like maybe a few more minutes. And then after that, we'll go ahead and close it out. And then I'll kind of let you guys roam through the program autonomously. So just one second. <laughs> Coffee's hot. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, so, all right, I'm going to go ahead and close out this um, live outreach session. If you have any questions, you're more than welcome to send them over to the communications area. I'm sorry, I'm reading an email at the same time, but, um, yeah, if you have any questions, you can go ahead and send them over to the communications area, and you're more than welcome to kind of run through the outreach services department, access our um, outreach partners, and then we're trying to give like a, like a debrief and all that for me. And also, um, you can go ahead and remember to access the feed for some of the more urgent emergency um, outreach services. Alright, so have a great day and wishing you the best of luck and until next time.